In this concept video, we are going to perform steps four and five of the accounting cycle. That is, we're going to prepare adjusting entries. We will adjust our records now for transactions that have taken place that we have not seen, like depreciation and supplies being used and so on. So we had no need to record them in our records. Before we prepare the financial statements, we must adjust our records. And we do that by preparing adjusting entries, posting to our ledger, and then taking a trial balance. So to begin with, depreciation expense on the building for June, 800 Depreciation on the truck for the month of June, 400 Debit depreciation expense, 400 Credit accumulated depreciation truck, 400 Next, accrued salaries. Now, these are salaries that we owe our employees, but it's not payday. But nevertheless, these salaries were incurred in the month of June. We're going to pay them in July, so we must make an adjusting entry. We do that by debiting salaries expense to recognize the expense in the month of June and salaries payable to recognize that we owe the salaries and we'll be paying it and canceling that payable in July. Now notice all journal entries are June 30th, the end of the month. And you will never have a journal entry that affects cash. Now the next journal entry regards supplies. I have in my trial balance a balance for supplies on hand of 18000 But I do a physical count as of June 30th, and I only have 12000 remaining. So obviously I've used up 6000 of the supplies during the month of June, but I have not recognized that in my records, and I do that now. And I do that by recognizing the expense, debit supplies expense, and reducing the asset, credit supplies on hand. Now, we also had prepaid insurance, and we bought that June 1st, and it was to cover us for two years. And we paid 4800 for it. So over the 24-month period, we're paying 200 a month, and we have not recognized that we've used up one month by June 30th, and we do that now. So we debit insurance expense 200 and credit prepaid insurance 200 now the same happens with the rent. We prepaid the rent, uh, rent of 12000 and that we did for the whole year starting June 1st. So now at the end of June, we've used up one month. We've used up 1000 and therefore we have to recognize that. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm not going to skip a space between these journal entries. So like the insurance, prepaid insurance, I recognize rent expense of 1000 for the month of June and prepaid rent for 1000 I reduced the asset. Now the last adjusting entry, I performed 12000 of delivery service for customers as of June, but I have not billed them. I will bill them in July. Nevertheless, the revenue principle states that I must recognize revenue in the month in which I have incurred it. So therefore, the, we do an adjusting journal entry to record this accrued revenue. So I will be receiving the money in the future, so it's debit accounts receivable, 12000 and credit service revenue, 12000 And that completes our adjusting entries. So the next step now is to post these adjusting entries to my uh, ledger and then take another trial balance after I've done the adjustments, which is called the adjusting trial balance. Now we post the adjusting entries to the general ledger. And the first one, first two, depreciation expense on the building, 800, accumulated depreciation, 800. Depreciation expense on the truck, 400. Accumulated depreciation, 400. Okay, so the next one. Salaries expense, salaries payable. 
Then supplies expense, 6000 Supplies on hand, 6000 Then insurance expense, 200 in prepaid insurance. And rent expense, 1000 in prepaid rent. And lastly, a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to service revenue. And there we have all the adjusting entries posted. So now we summarize again and take the adjusted trial balance. So now I record in the adjusted trial balance for Lopez the balance of each account. And we have some new accounts like uh, depreciation expense building, depreciation expense truck, and uh, rent expense and insurance expense. We've adjusted our accumulated depreciation. We adjusted our supplies on hand down, our prepaid insurance and prepaid rent down. We also recognized some additional revenue and increased the accounts receivable. So now when I total the debits, when I do, oh, I get 658000 then I total the credits and $1,000.